Hello, everybody. This is Seth Weissman, and welcome to another episode of Safe Real Estate. Today, we're going to continue to talk about some of the more important changes in the GAR contract for 2022. And one of those changes is that we have actually added a definition of the word day. And we define a day as a calendar day, except as otherwise provided in the contract. A day, therefore, is not a banking day or a business day unless the contract specifically states that that is what we are talking about. All days are normally calendar days. And to my knowledge, there's only one place where banking day is either ref is even referenced and it's referenced in the earnest money section where an earnest money check is returned for insufficient funds. In that case, the seller has to give the buyer three banking days to make the check good. And we say banking days because we don't want a seller to be unable to make the check good due to the banks being closed. The other thing we say is that the day ends at 11.59 p.m. that it is referring to the full calendar day. And rather than saying 11.59 and 59 seconds, we thought 11.59 should be just about as good. And obviously we did that to try to make it clear that a day does not end at five o'clock or seven o'clock unless you include a special stipulation saying that. So if you happen to be one who wants the due diligence period to end at eight o'clock, you would need to include a special stipulation saying that for the purposes of determining the end of the due diligence period, it shall end at 8 p.m on the last day of the due diligence period. We also, in talking about this section, for the first time explain to people how to count days from the binding agreement day. And we wrote into the contract that for the purposes of counting days, the binding agreement date should be counted as day zero and all days after that should be counted from the binding agreement date. So for example, if the binding agreement date is Sunday, Sunday is day zero, Monday is one day from the binding agreement date, Tuesday is two days from the binding agreement date, and so on and so forth until finally whatever time deadline is reached. But by including language on how to measure and count days, hopefully we'll have fewer issues or problems in people not counting days correctly. So I'm really hoping this turns out to be a great change. I hope this episode of Safe Real Estate has been beneficial. As always, it's great to see you. And please, please continue to tune in. Bye now.